Hey guys, alright, this is another video, um, slash what I'm gonna do right now, um, this PVC bow, have, and the cool part is, if you look closely, you see one, two, and three of these three-fourths inch wide PVC, you can actually take this whole thing down, I'll do that in a second, is string it's only at least about um 20 ish pounds so you can just click it like that um it, it was so easy for that because it's like only five like that but like when you pull it it's only like 20 so it's nothing mm -hmm. then I cut that off Alright. Gotcha. I'll leave that in. Oh. That was a good section. You guys can hurry, right? really in there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Pretty light. You can just throw in your backpack and stuff. Um, and easily get yourself game and stuff. Um, what I usually use, if I was going to use um, arrows and stuff, just like saying you can just quickly get a meal and stuff, and of making like birch arrows and stuff, you could do that, but it would take a bit longer, um, to like get it all round perfectly straight, then of just going to a cattail and pulling yourself off a arrow. Now, when you're actually doing these, you want to be very careful because these things are very brittle. Like you, you, you can hear it already. Like, oh, but they do fire if you know how to shoot. Um, traditional archery, uh, you you can actually shoot these. Um, you actually want to put a stainless steel nail. It varies on like like what what you are good at like what weight um on like a arrow or sign you put the weight of a tip you want on there i usually like to use a two inch uh flat top stainless steel nail in here and, and then like uh, little duct tape feathers or literally um, goose feathers uh clean geese, I mean, geese, or goose, I mean. but like, you can use turkey feathers or something, or any really game bird that you can actually get, don't go out and get any illegal ones, like, that's bad, um, but, if you can have it at least about like a compound, uh, it won't weigh down this, but if you look closely, this is thin, and then this is thicker and stuff. You want the thicker side so when you push it in, uh, you don't need any glue. You just push it on and it's that pretty much. Uh, that's why I like using it. So you just have so fast of an arrow. You just push your tip in and then put um, fletching on and then put a knock on. And you're already done mostly. And you can just pull back the arrow and let it fly and get yourself some game. Let me put the whole bow back together. There we go. Alright. 
Okay, it just clicks in. Um, I can't, like, I, I'm not the person if you want to um, learn how to make bows. Uh, if you want to know the with PVC, the best person I know is backyard um, boy, uh, backyard bower or boyer, one of those. But he makes PVC bows. Um, I'll put in the link just link the in the description. I'll put a link to his channel and stuff. Um, and and he's. This, I have made other bows, but this is my first, like, fully take down one, um, but I have, the, the thing about this, if you look closely, it's not straight, because it's a center fire, but that's it for this view. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. More videos to come.